We're now going to look at chemical spill kits. Now, there's three main types of chemical spill kit we've got here. The first one here is what's called a maintenance kit. This is uh, ideal for things like coolants, solvents, oils, uh, mild acids and mild alkalines. The other one here is an oil kit. So this is really just for oil, oil type spills. So it's suitable for oils, fuels, diesel, petroleum and any other petroleum based solvents. Now the one we're actually going to look at here is the chemical kit. This works slightly different because it's suitable for acids, alkaline solvents, coolants and oils. So this would be able to take um, acid and alkalines much stronger than the others would. So it's quite important that if you have a spill kit, you make sure you're using the correct one for the correct job. On the actual display on it, they all come in these plastic bags. On the main display, it'll tell you what it's actually suitable for. So you can see directly from the cover exactly what the product will do. So just make sure that what load you're carrying or what load you have in your workplace, that you have the relevant spill kits uh, for that chemical. Inside the kit, first thing you'll see is an instruction leaflet, uh, and on there it will tell you some information about uh, the spill kit and what it can actually do. Um, all of them will be slightly different, different makes uh, of these kits, but they're all basically got very similar types of components in there. The first thing to remember with any spill kit or any chemical spill kit is your own personal safety. So you would always need to make sure you're wearing full PPE. So this would be gloves, this may well be a respirator, um, or maybe overalls or any other uh, clothing you need to make sure that you keep yourself safe from the chemical itself, but also from any potential dust or uh, vapours that could be given off by it. The components inside here, uh, which go through them, uh, one by one, this is just a basic sock. Um, what this will do is if there's a chemical and you want to try and hold it within the set space or you want to divert the spill over into a different direction, this is the sort of thing you can use. Uh, it's very lightweight, very high absorbency, and the hope is, is that as the chemical comes through, you can sort of move it around into a different direction. You can join um, two of these up together and what they recommend is try and cover it over around about 30 centimetres. So if you are using two of these, then overlap them by about 30 centimetres. The next part we look at is the mats. Now these mats come in different shapes. This is obviously the chemical one, and this would be where you can put it down onto a chemical. So if there's a small chemical spill, you can literally lay this down onto the chemical, and the mat is specially designed to actually absorb the chemical into the substance. Once you've actually contained the chemical, then you need to pick the chemical up. So to do this, you can use shovels or you can use brooms, but then you need to dispose of this correctly. Now most of these kits will also come with a, a disposal bag. So this is a bag for actually collecting the waste products up with. The key thing when you're doing this, you need to pick them up correctly. So make sure when you're loading them up, you get them into the bag safely. And this is not an easy job to do on your own. If you're out transporting uh, and you're using this out on the road, it might just be you there. But if there's someone else can help, then get some help because one person can hold the bag open and the other one can collect up the, um, the pads and the sock and then get it into the bag. Now another substance that you can use with clearing up chemicals are the granules. And these granules were sprinkled onto the substance um, and then it will absorb into the granules. And then once you've got this, you can brush or shovel this up. But again, when you're shoveling this back up again, make sure you do put the waste products into the bag. So final thing with any of these chemical spill kits is disposal. Once you put it into the bag, you then need to make sure that you've disposed of the, all of these wastes in accordance with workplace policies and procedures. And remember, always wear gloves and PPE when you're handling any of these chemicals, even when it's in the bag uh, and you're transporting it to the waste.